What's up guys? This is Sean Steven for another episode with Charikas. Before we begin, most importantly, don't forget to like, share, as well as subscribe to our channel. Yes, this is Charikas. And for this episode, we will be featuring the Perudua Ativa. Ho! Oh. As you know, this is the long-awaited compact SUV. Comes in four variants, where the pricing is from about 61,000 all the way to 72,000 ringgit. This comes in five amazing colors, depending on which variant that you choose. Now, the X variant comes in three colors, which is glittering silver, granite gray, as well as cobalt blue. Moving up to the H variant, it comes in two additional colors, which is pearl diamond white and pearl the lima red. Now, going over to the A AV variant where you add on 800 ringgit to get a black roof. This is the AV variant which we will be featuring today. Now let's check out the exterior of the Perdua Ativa. Starting off first with the front part of the car, you can see over here the front fog lamps. Favorite part of the car that I love is actually the LED headlamps that comes with sequential turning signals and most importantly, the adaptive driving beam where it auto turns off when it can detect a car coming from the opposite direction. The other car driver that's coming from the opposite direction won't be blinded by these lights over here. And as you can see, overall front look really gives a solid look for this Perodua Ativa. This is the side profile of the Perodua Ativa where you can add on a body kit from Gear Up, which is optional by the way. Now moving on here, this is actually the first car that comes with a touch unlock button auto folding side mirrors as you can see it also comes with blind spot monitor but more importantly when you unlock it one time it opens the front door and not the back door pressing twice unlocks all the doors nice and now I'm inside the car, focusing more onto the interior. It actually gives a more luxurious feel, especially for the Perdua Ativa. You do know it is keyless entry and also, yes, push start button. But check this part out. 7-inch instrument cluster that have four themes. Most importantly, it also has a birthday reminder or anniversary reminder. Very important for people like me who can remember those special days and I don't need to sleep outside the house. You can also see over here the nine inch infotainment system, but most importantly, here. Reverse camera that can gives you a wide view of your uh, reversing view. Not only that, when I move on here to the gear handle, you can see a very, very nice matte finishing. Over here, we have one and two charging ports, HDMI connection over here. And most importantly, where am I going to put my Starbucks? Not here, but actually over here and over here. There is this fancy cup holders. Also, here, the steering wheel. Most important, this is where you put your hands, right? It's only available for the AV and H variants where it has all these fancy buttons over here. But for the X variant, there's no buttons at all, only the very, very only push start button. Now, before I forget, the instrument cluster 7 inches and also the infotainment system, which is 9 inches, is only available for the H and A V variant. So now I'm in the back seat of the Perdua Ativa. As you can see here, room space is actually not as big as I thought it would be. Yes, it is a compact SUV, but it actually feels like inside a MyV. Okay, it's pretty okay spacing here. As you can see, it is a B segment uh, car. But the head space here is not as high, so someone who is taller or bigger might not really feel comfortable at the back seat. No armrest, but comes with also ISOFIX to fit in your baby seats. 
As you can see over here, it has yeah, reflective lamps over here. And most importantly here, you can actually see that if you compare to a Myvi, right, it looks like a stretched out elevated Myvi. One more thing I gotta mention, remember the front part of the car, the headlamps, it comes with the sequential turning lights. This one over here does not have that. So that was only for the front part of the car. You do know this is a compact SUV, right? So we're actually wondering how big is the boot space? Let's check it out. No power boot. Hmm. Never mind. Woke up. Yeah. Okay, it's actually not that hard. Like. I just do drum out. Something really, really interesting, as you can see here, is the spare tire. But this spare tire is the same size as the actual tire that's being used. This can actually be removed and the boot space can be extended over here. And now the time I've been waiting for this so long, it's time for me to test drive the car. But before that, I have to let you guys know, this car comes with the very first 1.0 litre turbocharged engine. <laughs> It uses the new CVT gearbox and in terms of safety features, it actually has not one, not three, but five star ratings when it comes to the Asian and cap for all four categories. Now, the requirements nowadays is for you to send in your base variant. It actually has or managed to score a five star for the Asian and cap. Well done, Perdua. And for all variants, it also has the ASA 3.0 or Advanced Safety Assist 3.0. But then again, it will vary from the X variant, the base variant, all the way to the highest variant, the AV. So you guys ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Now, so far, steering is not as, uh, it's not heavy. I would say it's moderate. There is also a special button on the steering wheel, PWR. I think that stands for power, where it gives a faster acceleration or pickup which is faster. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press this uh, PWR button so you can actually feel that pickup is way faster as compared to not having that PWR button on. Okay, this variant also comes with many, many features like lane, depart, assist. But most importantly, what I'm going to try out later is the adaptive cruise control, which normally for a car of this pricing might not have as compared to, you know, other more expensive cars. Okay, what I really don't really like lah is when I put the signal button, right, it has this tick, 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 electronic sound that I don't really like. Okay, let's just try. Whoa! We're riding through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. So I'm now accelerating at a speed of about 90 kilometers per hour. Pickup, not a problem with a 1.0 liter turbocharged engine. Now they say it functions or it gives a uh, similar performance to a 1.5 liter NA engine, which I think, oh, it's not only similar, it's probably higher or even uh, at the same uh, same level. So I think here my lane departure uh, warning or lane departure assist is actually uh, been activated. Let me see if I were to go to the side. Okay, I can actually feel, can you hear that? That sound actually indicates that uh, I'm actually departing the lane without putting signal. And the steering wheel also kind of vibrates and also creates like a, a force that is uh, in the opposite direction to make sure or to ensure that I am in the lane itself. And earlier I was using the adaptive cruise control where there was a car in front of me and it managed to detect the car in front of me and slow down accordingly. So all these new features for this car is kind of a wow factor but because of the pricing that it has, um, it's really something that you can't get in any other car models out there for this kind of technology and safety features. Now comparing it according to its variant, starting with the base variant which is a variant X, it's priced at 61,500 ringgit. Variant H is priced at 66,100 ringgit. AV is 71.2,000 ringgit. And the highest, which includes a dual tone or the black roof, priced at 72,000 ringgit. As you can see at the table beside me, for a seven year loan with 10% down payment, these are the pricing for your monthly installments. But focusing more on the comparison of the features for each variant, variant X has all these basic safety features including the ASA 3.0. Moving up to the H variant that has all these features but also most importantly the 7-inch 
uh, instrument cluster and also the 9 inch infotainment system. And moving on to the highest variant, which is the AV variant, comes with the blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, and also the lane centering assist and a whole lot more. Now comparing it with its competitors, now you know that this car obviously compared to the Proton X50. Even though you're comparing apple to orange, this car's highest variant is priced at 72,000 ringgit. For the Proton X50, the base variant is about 79,000 ringgit which ranges all the way up to its highest variant uh, priced at slightly over 100,000 ringgit. Now looking more to its specs, this car comes with a 1.0 litre turbocharged engine. The Proton X50 comes with a 1.5 litre turbocharged engine. Obviously, maybe because of its uh, engine capacity, this has better fuel consumption. If let's say you are looking for something more of city driving and also size is not a problem for you, this car definitely triumphs it all. What do you think? Make sure you write down your comments in the comment section below and make sure you like, share and follow and subscribe to our channel here at Charikas. That's it for today and I'll see you in our next episode at Charikas. Bye-bye!